Good afternoon. So you join me uh, on the outskirts of Ely. For those of you that don't know, it's the town where I live. Um, it's a pretty gloomy day. We've had a good two or three weeks of wall-to-wall uh, -wall sunshine almost, but the last couple of days we've had some heavy rain coming through with some pretty dramatic clouds. Uh, today it is a lot calmer. Um, just a light breeze, but it is still rather overcast, as you can see. Uh, anyway, it's a Sunday afternoon and I often go for a walk along the river um, and I realised I'd never videoed that particular walk so I thought I'll bring you along with me today um, and see what I can capture. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos you'll know I'm not a big fan of bright blue skies so I'm hoping for some uh, slightly more dramatic or at least interesting looking clouds in today's shots. Um, the first picture I'll probably stop and take is one I've done a few times before but always looks quite nice is the view across to uh, the cathedral over there um, across the water meadows. Um, clouds above it are pretty heavy. I'm probably going to get rained on at some point actually. Um, but anyway I shall stop here and grab a shot. So, nothing too controversial there. Um, just put this back on both shoulders. Uh, so, today's version of that shot, I decided to use the 85mm lens, which um, sort of zooms in a reasonable way, but doesn't fill the frame with the cathedral, um, mainly because I wanted to try and include some of the sky above. Um, as it's fairly low light, relatively speaking. Um, I dialed in about plus 0.7 of exposure so uh, hopefully that means then the resulting image will be fairly low in noise once I pull the brightness back down again. Uh, I have to time it for a train to not be going past. It's a surprisingly busy railway line here. Um, anyway, I'm going to carry on traipsing along this bank which uh, goes alongside this road to Queen Adelaide, a small little village. Um, but I won't quite walk as far as that. I'll uh, turn off a bit sooner. But uh, there may well be one or two more picture opportunities along the banking here, so I shall keep my eyes peeled. So for those of you who aren't familiar with uh, Ely and its location in the country, uh, it's a little way north of Cambridge and sits on the edge of something called the Fens, or Fenland. And the area is very flat and low-lying, um, pretty much all used for agriculture. Um, and one of the sort of notable features of the area um, that people often remark on is sort of big skies, and I guess because there's no hills to get in the way. Um, the hill that Ely Cathedral sits on is not very visible on this camera, but is actually one of the more notable hills in the area. That's how flat it is. Um, anyway, I have just noticed. See, the crops have been planted recently, and there's a nice field with uh, lines of crops and a hefty-looking sky above it. So I'm going to run down the banking onto the other side of the road when the traffic isn't driving past. Uh, pop the wide-angle lens on and uh, try and capture a a big sky Finland image, I think. Well, I've just taken one shot here with this sort of slightly wider gap in the crops going down the middle, um, which is nice and symmetrical, but I think it leaves a bit too much nondescript brownness in the middle. So I'm going to shuffle along a bit to uh, uh, one side or the other, um, take a shot down the actual lines of crops as well. Then I've got both options when I get them back on the computer later. back up on the uh, banking again now. Um, the sky looked very nice on the back of the camera for that image, so hopefully it'll work out all right with the computer. Um, so the cathedral has sort of 
disappeared amongst these trees for now, but I'm keeping my eye open. Um, there's one or two gaps in the trees. Now I'll stick on the long lens I've got with me today, which is uh, 135 mil. So, I don't trust cows. Uh, I walked past a field once in France and they all sort of ran at high speed towards me, which was slightly unnerving. We were only stopped by a very small fence. Uh, luckily, here, I think they can't get across this ditch, so it should be safe. I think. I've just come down off the banking again uh, to the other side of the road. As I've just spotted, I didn't know it was here, but I kind of forgot because I haven't been here for a while. Um, this sort of old barn hidden over there. So uh, I'm just going to see if there is any composition to include that, maybe. Um, there's a nice bit of hard standing here, but then there's a load of crops. I don't really want to walk through the crops, obviously, but uh, I think probably from just here. Yeah, get quite a nice uh, three quarters view of the barn. So I'm not quite sure which lens to use for that. I think the 85 is going to be a bit close. Um, and I haven't got my 50 with me, so I'm going to try the 35, see what happens, and uh, include the trees that are around it. And uh, the wind's not too bad down here, so I think I'm going to aim low and then include some of these crops as foreground, possibly. Uh, anyway, see what happens. So yeah, 35 mil turned out to be about right, just to fit in the trees on each side of the, uh, the barn. Um, I ended up shooting fairly wide open. It's about f2, which uh, partly because I don't have my tripod with me today, uh, so using a narrow aperture to fit in all the crops in focus, or to then be able to focus stack was uh, was not really going to be possible. So I've gone for the uh, blur the foreground approach. Let's see how it ends up. It's just starting to rain now. The wind has picked up, as you can possibly hear. But uh, carry on along the bank. So I am almost at the little bridge over the river, um, which I always find makes for quite a nice subject itself. Really, um, it's not a very pretty bridge, I guess, but it's got an interesting geometrical structure. Um, so it used to be here, you had to take your life into your hands walking uh, along the side of the road around this bend, but they've built this little footbridge over the ditch, which is nice. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure that the view down there is really worthy of a photo. Uh, so I will continue onwards. Uh, to the footbridge. And uh, here is the footbridge, as I mentioned a moment ago. Um, so I'll grab a quick picture of it here and then uh, I'll probably take a picture on there as well. Yeah. 
Um, I actually use this bridge um, when I uh, when I shot some wedding pictures uh, a couple of years back, uh, playing around with um, with smoke grenades that I had lying around as you do. Uh, so that was quite fun for a slightly different uh, take on a wedding photo. Um, I think I'll also grab a couple of shots here, uh, looking up and down the river uh, as well, and then move on. Over the other side of the river, and uh, there's always a bit of curiousness here in that um, there's a bunch of trains parked there, and they seem to be there all the time. And there isn't a station or anything there, um, it's just some industrial units. So, whether they kind of refurbish them or store them, or I don't know what, um, they're not trains that normally run on any of the lines here. So, uh, trains get around uh, anyway path takes us uh, along this uh, slightly prisony looking fence to stop me going and licking trains um, and then uh, we end up going over another little bridge called Cuckoo Bridge um, which uh, again goes over not the same river it's a sort of offshoot of river um, towards an area called Oswell Pit so I shall continue along the path river leading through to the quarry pits there um, with quite a nice sort of dead tree poking out so I've just taken a picture down there and I might switch back to the wide angle and take one of the pool the other side with that little island in it. Um, I just bumped into uh, another local photographer, uh, Veronica, um, so we were just having a little bit of a chat. She was out armed with her camera as ever. Uh, anyway right, grab my other picture from here before any more people turn up and uh, then head on to down on the other side of the river by the uh, dead tree that was in the previous picture. Um, and there's these three sort of wooden fishing jetties in a row, so I'm going to see if there's a composition here of those, uh, of those three, and then move on. around the corner from where I was, um, is this large uh, pond, lake, pond, I don't know, something like that. Um, and again it has these uh, fishing jetties along the edge of it. Um, so I've just taken a, a picture across the water um, and uh, I've used one of the jetties sort of quite centrally in the foreground, um, again with the wide angle lens which I think works quite well. Um, beginning to rain again, but uh, it's not too bad. Still keeping my dramatic, moody looking skies, hopefully. Um, oh, shush. Three angry birds live on that little man made raft in the middle of the, uh, of the lake. Um, and they make a right old racket. They're upset all the time. Um, yes. Anyway, I shall uh, 
continue my walk. So as you saw, I have crossed over the railway. Um, so I'm now back on the, uh, I guess the town side of the, uh, the river and the railway. Um, so I'm just walking along this lane, which uh, turns a corner and goes up a hill, where um, there's another very good view of the cathedral across another one of the lakes of Roswell Pit. So although I've taken a photo there on many occasions, um, I'll take another one for the purposes of this video, because why not? Uh, and then head back up into town and home. So the obvious spot to shoot the cathedral from um, is just up the hill there. Um, you'll see there's a little bit of fence and you can look out across the water. At this time of year though, um, the, uh, the foliage is a bit too high and gets in the way, so I prefer to go through this little gate when you can get down to the, uh, the edge of the water for a, an obstructed view. startled a baby duck. So this first viewpoint uh, is easy enough to get to but the composition is uh, spoiled a little by being so close to the uh, trees on the side of the lake there so you can actually traipse through the undergrowth a little bit and there's a second viewing spot. Uh, ah, spiky plant uh, which gives us a slightly Clear of view. There we go, and we're uh, away from the trees a little bit. So I shall grab an image here because there's some nice uh, light sky immediately behind the cathedral um, with some sort of slightly more foreboding cloud just above it, which I think will work quite well. So I actually took two shots in the end, one with the 135mm, um, which focuses in quite closely on the cathedral, just includes the dark bit of sky encroaching above it. Um, I then tried the 35mm, um, which gives a wider field of view. Um, what I did was uh, composed it so well, the cathedral disappears behind my head, but kind of like that, because um, otherwise if I put the cathedral in the middle, the trees on the... Uh, on the left hand side of the image are much bigger and they tend to unbalance it a little bit so hopefully that'll work as well and include a bit more of the sky which has some nice texture in it anyway i'll stop yakking um, and that's probably it for this video because um, i'm going to go up the hill now and then back into town then so photo opportunities aren't uh, aren't so obvious and uh, i'm looking forward to a cup of coffee so i hope you enjoyed this little walk around uh, the outskirts of ely with me um, Yes, it's been a nice little walk, slightly damp, but not too bad. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already done so, please like the video uh, and consider subscribing to future videos. And I will see you again soon.